The nominations are in, so let's talk tonight about the Oscars with two people who have a great perspective on the awards. Sean Levy is a film critic and author. You've probably seen his Mad About Movie segments here on KGW Sunday mornings. And Lana Vinker was the casting director for Wild and is the founder of Cast Iron Studios here in Portland. Lana, we'll start with you. Wild, two nominations, Best Actress for Reese Witherspoon mm -hmm. and Best Supporting for Laura Dern. Exciting. Exciting for, I would say, the whole state. Uh, we cast almost 30 local actors in the film. Uh, the, uh, most of the cast, the crew was from here. It's shot in more locations around the state than any other movie ever had, so I think the whole state is excited. Of course, Cheryl Strayed lives in Portland, so we really have ownership of this project. We're really excited. Nice publicity for Oregon here. And Sean, what about the list jumps out at you? Well, there are some missing things. I thought Selma would get more nominations. I, I was rooting for the Lego movie and Jake Gyllenhaal and Nightcrawler. Neither of those showed up. Um, Wild, I thought the best adapted screenplay uh, for Nick Hornby's version of Cheryl Strayed's book. But, you know, it's, it's, we never see the numbers. We don't know if Nick finished sixth by one fun. vote or if he was in dead last. I mean, we, it's always mysterious. Okay, nice. And uh, I just sort of take it as it comes very much so as we look at some images from Wild there, you know, we're reminded that there are other local connections, nominations, Leica Studios received a nomination for Box Trolls. You mentioned the Lego movie being left out, but Box Trolls made it. What does this say, Lana, about movies being made in Oregon and with Oregon connections? Well, I think uh, the demand has certainly increased over the years with our film incentive program that we've put in place. In fact, um, last year the demand was so high that the film office ended up having to turn away dozens of projects because we didn't have the incentive funds left to uh, bring them here. So uh, we're going to go back to the legislature and try to uh, increase the program and expand it and um, see if we can bring even more productions here. You know, some of the attention being paid, Sean, now to that list is a lack of diversity on that list. Did that jump out at you when you looked at it? Um, not when I looked at it at first. When, you, when it's pointed out and pointed out how long it's been since there was uh, an all-white crew of 20 actors, um, it comes down to a lot of things, though. You know, Hollywood has always been criticized for bringing too much political correctness into You're awards. And now the suddenly they're, they're um, the being cast in, in the exact opposite they light. Are. It's a funny thing, you know. It's, 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 it's like politics. It depends who's in the race Birdman. at a given time. Or the it's not always an appearance. agenda. Who, though, might have been added Boy. to that list to bring that diversity that people are saying should be there? Well, I think one of the people who can rightly feel like he was left at the altar today was David Onyelowo, who played Martin Luther King in Selma. It's a terrific performance, and uh, first time Dr. King has been the subject of a feature film in theaters ever. So uh, it seems like the sort of thing Hollywood would get behind. It's it's curious that he was left out, and you know you can you can point around it at at other individual cases. But as I say, we don't know. We don't know if these were the top five by a lot, or there were two people ahead, and then there was a pack of forty, and these three people snuck in. Yeah, hard to say. You know, you can't let the two of you go without saying, "What should I go see? What are the movies from 2014 that should top my list?" Lana, we'll start with you. Uh, for me, Boyhood. I, the complexities of shooting over 12 years—it just blows my mind. It was an amazing film, um, and of course, Wild and Box Trolls to support local production. Yeah, absolutely. And Sean, on your list. Boy Boyhood, 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 Birdman is very good, Grand Budapest Hotel, and only got nominated for Best Original Screenplay. It's about the TV news business, Nightcrawler, with Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, but the Grand Budapest Hotel, I believe, was nine nominations. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's a period film. It's got wonderful decor and costumes and makeup, so, you know, it gets, it, there's three or four nominations that a, con a film set in the here and now might not necessarily get. Um, and that's, again, a, a, f a funny thing about the Academy. Certain types of movies look good at Oscar time because they use the work of many of the people who vote for Oscars. Oh, you know, the, right, the makeup right, yeah, people know yeah. what a lot of makeup uh -huh. is in a movie. Wild was not a big makeup movie. Uh-huh, You know, yeah. but the Grand in Budapest fact, Hotel. Reese got a lot of attention for going without the makeup. Exactly, so thanks exactly. to both of you for coming in tonight. Really appreciate your perspective. Cheers. Well, it is time for tonight's Web Watch. A lot of people saying the Lego movie was snubbed, as Sean did, for not being nominated for Best Animated Feature. The director, Phil Lord, is taking it all in stride, tweeted out this photo of a Lego Oscar statue he created.